to see that he doesn't get into trouble. There's the Ike out at sea. Marlo's been on the ship for a week now, doing a great job. There's lots to do. They're not just airplanes on an aircraft carrier. There's a bakery, and a barber, and a butcher shop, and a television station, even an ice cream parlor. And at this moment, a fella steering the ship named, you guessed it, S. Marlo. Careful, Marlo. It took seven years to build the Ike. I'd hate to think what you could do in a day. Lieutenant, I think I'm having uh, too much fun here. I better give you your ship back. All right. Houseman, leave it out. What a ship. That's more than 1,000 feet long. That's longer than three football fields laid end to end. And the Ike can produce enough nuclear power to stay at sea for 13 years if it had to. Wonder where Marlo's off to now. My machine, I think I'm going to step out for a little sea air. Have fun, Marlo. Hi, Marlo. I'm Lieutenant Arnello. Hi, Lieutenant. Uh, Lieutenant, what's going on here? Oh, that's the Navy ship Canisteo. Uh -huh. We're going to be resupplied today. You mean, uh, wait a minute. Now, wait, I thought this was a nuclear ship and you could stay out for about 13 or 15 years. What well, do you need supplies for? Yes, we uh, we can't stay out for 13 years, but we need resupplies for food uh, and for fuel for our aircraft. Oh, I see. Lieutenant, how do we get the supplies from that ship to this ship? Well, Marlo, first, we have to get into position. Which is kind of difficult because our ship is so much larger than the Canisteo. Yeah, so we got to be careful. Huh? Yes, we have to be very careful. Once we're in position, then we'll shoot a shot line over with a special gun. Once the line gets over to the Canisteo, we'll start pulling the supplies over to the Eisenhower, and that's how we'll get all the supplies on our ship. Ah, could I uh, see that? Sure, why don't we go down to the hangar bay? Okay, let's go. Okay. Marla's going down to help bring the supplies onto the Ike from the little ship alongside. And he to get a good meal. <laughs> I know you, Marlo. Why don't you come over here and take a line? Oh, you need some help, sure, huh? Sure, come on. Whoa, that's a change. Usually, I'm the one who does all the work on this show. There's some supplies. Looks heavy. Big box. Good to see you working, Marlo. Faster. Come on, now. Faster. The last time Marlo worked so hard, is, uh, uh, wait a minute. I, um, uh, I don't think Marlo ever worked so hard. You're doing fine, Marlo, though. That's it. When you're on a ship, the hard work and the sea air really make you hungry. It is really very good, but everyone kids about it. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the crew's mess? Down on the second deck, sir. Second deck? That's 12 decks down. <sighs> Twelve things down. Wow. I told you it's a big ship. And you know, they have big appetites. They bake 300 loaves of bread a day in the Ike's Bakery. 300 loaves. That would make a nice size sandwich. Something a 12-ton machine could really enjoy. <laughs> then, then, if you'd like to take a nap, there are 6,410 berths and bunks to lie down on. You know how many lighting fixtures there are on the Ike? 29,814, I counted them. Marlo's counting on some lunch right about now. Potatoes, string beans, and spare ribs today. Hmm. The guy's got slippery potatoes. They roar down onto the flight deck, and they hook onto the big cables that stop them, and they're safely home. Marlo's right out there on the flight deck. Let's join him. Hey, Marlo, looks exciting. How about telling us which planes are coming in? Okay, machine, uh, let's see. That's the A7E Corsair landing now. Here's another Corsair. Boy, nice plane. And watch this, that's the F4J Phantom Jet. It's coming in right now. I like this one, the A6 Intruder. Look, it's got a funny nose. And here's another Intruder. Okay, machine, now let's look in on the control tower where instructions are sent to the crew on deck and to the guys up in the air. 
Up we go! One of them's a turnaround tanker, and the other is uh, just a regular OA6 turnaround. 5 1 2 Tom. Well, 5 2 3 land first. Pilot's primary, 5 2 3, Nordo aircraft will be the first to uh, make his approach. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm staggered all the way forward of him. I'm going to be staggered off the port side. Paddle primary. Oh, oh. Hey, here's my Super Frisbee, the radar plane. Gee, didn't land. I guess the wind wasn't right. Hey, there goes another plane back up. Wow, it's not an easy job. They're parking the planes now. Hey, and there's my Super Frisbee. Great plane. Watch carefully how the cable grabs hold of the plane. See how quickly they come to a stop? coming in there is piloted by my good friend, Lieutenant Dave Walsh. Hi, Dave. He's got a great nickname, Pluto. Most of the pilots have nicknames, funny names. There's Dave with Marlo. They're going to head for the ready room now, where each flight begins at... Could you tell me a little bit about all the stuff that you're wearing? Sure, Marlo. This down below is the anti-gravitational suit. Uh -huh. When you're pulling G-forces in the airplane, all your blood rushes down your body into your legs. It uh -huh. makes you black out. And these inflate, holding the blood up into your, up into your heart. With survival gear, you have a radio here in case you have to go down. You... If somebody wanted to be a pilot, how, how do you go about being trained to be a pilot? How long does it take? Well, it takes about two years of training. The Navy does all the training. And you go to ground school, of course, first for about three months and learn all the aerodynamics about the airplanes. Uh -huh. And then you start flying, and it's about a two-year two -year course, the whole thing. And you love it, don't you? Love it, yes. I hear that your nickname is Pluto. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How come? Well, everybody takes a call sign, and this one was kind of handed to me several <laughs> years ago, and it just stuck. Use that in the air when you fly instead of your names. And everybody has nicknames, I guess, in the squadron? Yeah, everybody does. Thanks a lot. Sure, really Marlo. appreciate it. Come on back to see us anytime. I will. So long, guys. <laughs> How about that? A chair with my name on it. Marlo. Marlo, report to the flight deck for departure. Uh, I guess I gotta go now, machine. But I sure had a great time. I'm glad you're coming home, Marlo. Here comes Marlo and Captain Ramsey. What a wonderful host the captain was for all of us. But that's been a Navy tradition since we built our first few sailing ships back when the USA was born, when John Paul Jones said, I have not yet begun the fight.